I'm very excited to be uh, a member of the team that helped to put this whole event together. The whole essence of the event is to encourage public speaking. It's the maiden edition and it's something that we intend to do every year. LBS being number one to showcase this is a very big deal. And I was so glad to see the contestants, the topics were just on point. As a member of the panel of five judges, I was particularly impressed with the level of preparation, with their confidence on stage, and also with the way they connected with the audience. Our current unemployment rate is 23.1%. In other words, about 200 million strong population, almost a quarter are without jobs. It's frightening, isn't it? The age of automation has always been here. So from the first, the second, the third, we had machines that increased factory production, that improved standards of living, that changed economic systems. In fact, we embraced these machines because they created jobs. So much jobs that it was even vital to our push for an egalitarian society. Because this survey is based on just 224 million women done out of a survey of 67 countries of the 188 countries recognized by World Bank. So there is by far a larger pool of women-led businesses that is yet to take off and to be captured in this statistic. I am one of the presenters at the maiden edition of the LBS keynote speech event. I spoke about empowering female entrepreneurship for national growth because it's an issue that everybody is passionate about. And we are beginning to see more focus on it, especially improving women's access to finance and businesses. Brain to me is very important for Nigeria to pay attention to because we're losing most of our brains, most of our highly skilled personnel to developed countries. I didn't do this to win. I wanted to pass on a message. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with us here today. For us as Beta Gamma Sigma, we are very happy to be part of the people who are sponsoring this event because we hope that by uh, this speaking event, we could improve on communication skills with our MBA students. Number one, two, we could also bring intelligent discourse in terms of the issues that plague us as a country today, Nigeria. And I'm sure, I mean, for those that have listen to all the speeches that you have been enriched with the level of work that they did. I would say we give another round of applause to all the participants. I am really encouraged by the high quality of the presentations that were given and we know that moving forward in subsequent years we'll continue to attract top students and insightful contributions from the MBA students. I am the winner of this year's mini keynote competition at LBS. So my topic was how Nigerian professionals can thrive in the age of AI and the age of automation. I'm a software engineer by profession, so I could somewhat relate, but having to drive on the points required convincing people, showing that this is not essentially a hurdle. So it was exciting and rewarding given the work I'd put into it. Mm -hmm.